I am obviously a feminist, like, duh. I'm a woman in the 21st century. I just remember like being in big lectures and just like looking around and like, let's count how many women I see today. Usually like 10%. It can be discouraging if you look at all the top professors and have them all be male. Like it just implicitly says something. There are less women in math, especially as you go higher up. That's definitely one of my like lifelong goals is encouraging women in particular to study math. In the fall, I'm pursuing a PhD at Princeton in applied math. I think it's important for girls to like speak up in their STEM classes. Um, if you, you go back to that picture, you can just like watch women talk and then them get talked over all the time. And I make sure that when people, when I'm talking, that people don't talk over me. Is there any sort of work that's been done on it? I will not stand for that. Like, you're not going to talk over me. Ingrid Dovashis is one of my mentors for the project. When she's there, she definitely like commands a lot of respect. I once was a visiting professor at another university and it was clear there were some students who thought that they, who, who didn't have the same respect to me for me as, as they might have had for uh, I think a male professor. I definitely do think that we still have a long way to go to a society that is gender blind in opportunities. Every person who is in a position to encourage other uh, uh, young women or girls should do so. To make women feel more included in like research institutions, you need to have more women. Give them higher leadership roles. I think it's just a really simple thing that I believe in equality for men and women. There's definitely a lot of women in the program, so that's awesome. It's a better atmosphere overall from the numbers Duke is doing a better job than most of the places which is really cool but not ideal. We want half or more. <laughs>